Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Charles, and welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show, where we cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment, and we give you guys a fresh perspective on things. And now we see them. And today we have a very serious episode for you guys that we'd like you guys to stick around for. So please make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. Now, um, all of you aware about this Kyrie Irving story? We produced a show, I believe it was on um, Saturday, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we produced a show on sh uh, Saturday. Um, and we were reacting to the exchange between Skip Bayless and Shannon Sharp on Undisputed. And basically what happened was on Undisputed, Skip and Shannon got into a bit of a dispute. What was the dispute about? The dispute was about um, whether or not the punishment that Kyrie Irving has received for posting that link um, is enough. Right. Shannon was saying that he served his five games. He's lost his money. Um, his reputation took a hit. He obviously lost his deal with Nike, which I believe is about $10 million a year. So, um, you know, the, rep uh, the, the ramifications for his actions are being felt um, <laughs> loud and clear. Right. And um, so Shannon was like, enough is enough. He should be able to play again. Skip took the position of no, it's not enough. He would like the suspensions to go into the double, the, you know, the double digits or maybe 10 games or more. Um, to make an example out of him to prove that um, to, to discourage anybody in the future for doing something like that. And then what ultimately what ultimately ended up happening was um, I took the position where I was like, OK, so why, why is why are we only why, why 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 do they feel like they need to continue to pile on Kyrie? Right. A lot of people saw the show. A lot of people agreed. Some people disagree, which is fine. Then um, we heard another report that was a bit conflicting about Kyrie having um, a sit down with Brooklyn Nets or uh, Brooklyn um, Nets owner Joe Sy. And one report said it went well. And then the other report said something different. But this morning um, I found an article. Uh, what is it? Via CBS sports dot com that um, has some pretty bad news. Has, has some bad news uh, about Kyrie. So I just want to get into the article here. Starts off with the headline. Joe Sy says Kyrie must show people that he's sorry before returning to the Nets. Article continues on Kyrie Irving met with the Nets owner Joe Sy and Clara Sy on Thursday. And while the meeting reportedly was productive, there appears to be no momentum towards a return during Brooklyn's upcoming four game road trip, according to ESPN's uh, Adrian Wojnarowski. Um, the article then went on to say uh, the Nets begin their road trip Saturday against the Clippers. After that, Irving will have technically missed five games and be eligible to return Sunday against the Lakers. However, Nets head coach Jock Vaughn said Saturday afternoon that Irving will be unavailable for Sunday's game against the Lakers, which has happened. Josai put out a statement yesterday, uh, kind of shows where the collabor uh, collaboration alignment is right now. I have no update or timetable at all uh vaughn said when asked if Irvin would be available for the road trip at all vaughn said he doesn't know i don't know i don't know if he'll be available to, available tomorrow i have been told that um then the article continues on shortly after nets owner Josiah noted that Kyrie still has work to do when asked if irving would return during the road trip he has to show people he's really that he's sorry I told the the new york post during the game against the clippers at crypto.com arena on saturday what's important and what people miss is he only apologized after he was uh, suspended. And then the article goes on to say on Friday, the NBPA issued a statement of his own addressing Irvin, addressing Irvin's return. We have been working closely with Kyrie, the Nets organization and the NBA to develop a plan moving forward through forgiveness, understanding and healing. It reads the NBPA has been adamant that Kyrie's rights and the rights of all future players have been protected at every turn, according to a memo that it will make it difficult for the Nets to keep Irving out indefinitely. But for the time being, it does not appear as though he will return um, during this upcoming uh, road trip. So that's what that article uh, had to say there. Then I got another article. Uh, what is it from NetsDaily.com that I want to quickly um, uh, get into here. And basically, this article basically touches on the idea of a tweet, new, uh, a, a new tweet from Kyrie Irving. Is it an apology? And it's a tweet that Kyrie put up on his uh, Twitter account. It, it says, I was not put here on earth to participate in any religious political wars or incite racial disharmony, prejudice within communities. We are all equal under the sun, and I am here to participate in the building of an equal world and follow the word of the most high. Uh, God. So you heard what Kyrie Irvin um, 
uh, had to say there, right? You also heard what Nets um, owner Joe Sai had to say. <sighs> Hear my thoughts on this. You know, I've I, I feel like I've done I, I've shouted, you know, as much as I could um, on some of the previous shows that we um, produced. The reason I got upset, and I think a lot of people agree with me, was because of this. A lot of us feel like Kyrie has done enough to make up for the situation, right? And some of us feel like the six steps that the Brooklyn Nets, you know, putting forward are a little bit um, too excessive, right? A little bit too excessive. Um, they're talking about, and this is the part that a lot of people are missing. They're talking about Kyrie Irving making a $500,000 donation, right? That was one of the steps. Apologize and condemn the movie that he posted on social media. Make a five hundred thousand, uh, make five make a five hundred thousand worth of donations to anti hate causes. Monetarily, Kyrie Irving is taking a hit, right? Nike has suspended their, their relationship with him, and Phil Knight already gave his reasons on that. So I think Kyrie was making about ten million dollars a year on that deal. So Kyrie was supposed to be on the contract with them for the next few years probably just lost 40 plus million dollars 30 to 40 plus million dollars on that deal alone then you look at the money he's lost from his salary not being able to play those five games because remember he was suspended uh for five games without pay and some people are saying no the suspension should continue and therefore he's going to lose um even more money so the reason some of us are upset is after all of these things have transpired why is it that more people, some people out there want, like they want, they want more blood. They want more. They want him to suffer more. And my question is, why? This is the part I'm not really understanding here. Some people are saying, oh, it's not enough. They can never answer why. If anybody watching this show says it's not enough, say why? Because some of us would like to know. It's not enough. For what reason? For what reason? What kind of spiteful, vengeful thing is this? I said it in the other show. And I'm going to say it here. There's nothing There's nothing Chris, Christian or godly about this. Absolutely nothing. And if you believe you're doing God's work here, you're not doing a damn thing. You're not doing a damn thing. This has nothing to do with you know, what's right and what's wrong. This is about revenge and making an example out of the guy. That's all it is. Let's not confuse it. This is not what it's not godly at all. There's no forgiveness. Instead, there's revenge. Let's make him pay. I mentioned a saying in the Bible. I'm going to say it here. God said, if somebody does you wrong. And he reprimands that person, if he sees you taking pleasure. And him doing it, doing it to that person, reprimanding that person, he'll remove his wrath on that person and put it on you. Some people are enjoying this a little bit too much. And there's something sick about it. He posted a link. All the things that have happened, you're telling me it's not enough. I'm just trying to contain myself. I'm just trying to contain myself while I'm talking. But you're telling me it's not enough. You're telling me it's not enough. There should be more. There should be more. Let me ask y'all, the people that are saying all of that, do you think Kyrie Irving is a human being? Do you think Kyrie is a human being? Do you care? Do you care? I think most of you that are saying that he should or not, they don't give a, they don't give a damn. A lot of you don't even view us as human beings. You really don't. You don't. You don't. That's why you can say, keep putting him through the gauntlet. Let him keep, run, let him keep running the gauntlet. Let him keep, keep giving him lashes. Keep giving him lashes. He's not going to feel anything. They don't feel anything. Some of y'all got a lot of, y'all got a lot of nerve. Y'all got a lot of nerve. Some of y'all got a lot of nerve. Y'all want to talk about words and what's being depicted about people. You hypocrites. Hmm? All this stuff that's being perpetuated in music degrading blacks who's benefiting off of it huh and you guys want to sit up here and talk about how people are being portrayed and what's dangerous and what's not when it comes to the black people it, it, it don't matter i don't even want to go any further than this let me just leave it here 
let me leave it here. I disagree with everything that I'm seeing. I disagree with Joe Sy. I think he overstepped his boundaries. He he went way too far. Joe Sy went way too far. You're doing way too much. You're saying that he only apologized. He only apologized when uh let me let me go to his quote. Kyrie Irving only let me just go to his quote. I just want to find it here. He is he only what people miss is he only apologized after he was suspended ah, so 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 you're saying that you doubt his the sincerity in his apology so why the hell did you ask him for one in the first place or did you already make up your mind about him did you already make up your mind about Kyrie? this is an example ha huh. my god every penny you make any of you people watching this show any of you brothers and you are watching any penny you make invest it so you have your own so people don't do this trash to you Kyrie Irving is doing that because he, he he needs a paycheck. If Kyrie had enough money, I'll turn around and tell him to kiss my and walk off. There's a limit. There's a point you can go to where you reprimand me. There's another point you go when you're trying to humiliate me. This is a, this is humiliating to him and people that look like him. But it's okay. It's okay. I love how we pick and choose moments we want to be we want to be uh, 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 um, outraged about certain things. I love how we pick and choose. We've all, everybody's seen everybody. Somebody said the nerve to me, this is the most divisive, the divisive channel. Are you living in the world? Am I the one causing these things to happen? Or am I reacting to it? Or oh, what do you want me to say? You don't want me to talk about it, right? I should just sit back, watch this guy go through all of this and say nothing, right? That's what you want me to do. You want me to keep quiet because if it's not going to happen to Kyrie, it's going to happen to somebody that look just like me, maybe my family, one of my friends, or even you watching this show, but I shouldn't say nothing. Because you feel uncomfortable. That's your bloody business. I'm going to end it here. I'm going to end it here. This top, y'all already know why I stand with this. I'm done with this. These are my thoughts and opinions. We catch you guys on the next show. Peace.